Great. Uh, well, let's move to consideration of approval of designation of the court as a judicial center of excellence. We have uh, three, Judge Maderi, Judge Klein, and Judge Villarreal. Uh, and uh, now we have uh, maybe a new one. Maybe a new one. Good morning. Uh, today before you we have uh, the Honorable Claudia Laird and County Court of Law number two. She is our fourth uh, nominee. She's been working with us from the beginning. She was pivotal in helping us understand how this process can slot in and fit with civil courts. Her jurisdiction is primary civil and holds a lot of sway over guardianship and probate matters. Uh, she came into us regularly with pretty high scores across the board in most of the performance areas, strong in governance, um, strong in court operations. What she really lacked was just sort of codifying these processes and procedures putting them down on paper and making sure that her staff was engaged in those processes. Uh, when I went out to see her, I found her court to be very well structured, very well organized, um, and her staff to be dedicated and attentive and also very open and kind, but also very flexible. Uh, when I went out there, she had reworked her docket to make sure I could see a good cross-section of the typical courts that she, or the typical cases that she sees um, throughout the week. So I got a look at pro se, I got to look at guardianship cases, I got to hear an oral argument. So I was really uh, granted a pretty good access to uh, her court processes and how she runs through things. Um, every court that we've seen through this process has one thing about it that stands it out, and I hope to see more of that as we work through it. And for uh, Judge Laird's court, it's her court visitor program. Uh, she's not a statutory probate court, but she sustains and maintains, with a significant amount of court resources, a court visitor program. And what struck me about this program is that it is incredibly well organized uh, and incredibly well staffed. Um, anyone who's ever worked in a program that requires a strong volunteer base knows that maintaining those volunteers can be a challenge. Uh, people drop out, people start out very gung-ho, and then, you know, through life or challenges or even just sort of falling out of love with the idea of volunteerism, those volunteers sort of wane. To sustain this project, Judge Laird and her guardianship coordinators and her staff have developed not only resources within her county and with the community at large, but has reached out to other institutions, including universities and local community colleges, to make sure that the staff, that the court visitor program is adequately staffed and that her uh, that the cases under her uh, provision are always and are, are protected and well maintained and so she is absolutely a dedicated public servant her staff is capable and equally committed to the cause of judicial excellence and I therefore put her forth for nomination congratulations uh, introduce your staff Okay, so um, over to the other side is our uh, probate auditor, Ron Bowman. Howdy. And this is Colleen Rice, she's our probate investigator. And Amy Stevens is our guardianship coordinator. And Donna, uh, sorry, Walters, <laughs> is, uh, Santa, is our coordinator, our court coordinator. We handle civil and probate cases, so uh, there's more than just the probate staff. Um, Kathy Ansley is our probate coordinator, Martha Kumar is our court reporter, and Sandy Ledbetter is the court administrator. That's everybody. Oh, great. You want to introduce your other two guests, who are oh. very excited they're here. And this is my mom and my <laughs> Yes. If I may, when we worked on the guardianship <laughs> issue, Judge Laird was absolutely outstanding. And if I recall correctly, her court had the best record in terms of compliance with state law. And I was very keenly aware of that because my county had the two worst county courts of law in terms of compliance, 90% and 88% non-compliance. And you were outstanding even at that time before we started this process. So I'm very impressed in looking at the report about this court just the beginning performance area strength index is impressive. She was already at 100% in court operations before this process began, at 80% in governance, 63 in caseflow management, 
and I believe it's 79% in access and fairness, and that is incredible. And so now you're at 100% in everything. Bravo, we need more courts like this. Yes. Yeah. And I move that we designate this court a court of excellence. Second. Okay. Second. Um, well, it's, uh, it is a great credit to the judiciary that uh, we have courts like this, and uh, uh, the recognition that they've gotten in Corpus and in Laredo, I mean, uh, yeah, Laredo, uh, has really been uh, good for the judiciary as a whole. And we know it takes a team. I was a trial judge uh, 105 years ago. <laughs> but I uh, know how important the, the staff is, and uh, so we thank you very much uh, for this. Uh, we're going to take some pictures after a while, um, uh, after we finish the uh, meeting. Uh, any other discussion on the motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Yes. 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 Yes.